WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a sea of green out there. We've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 97 points, about three-tenths of a percent. Same thing for the S&P, which is 13 points. Four-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 59 points there. Eight-tenths for the Russell, 14-point move. Half a percent for the semis, they're up 19. You've got gold trading off five bucks. Silver's down 17 cents. Lights recruit off three bucks and change. Natural gas off two pennies. 30 year treasury printing out at 115.18. That's basically unchanged out there. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. Now, new profile that's attempting to form out here. We won't really know until, uh, well, quite frankly, we won't know until this evening at six o'clock whether this uh, takes hold or not. But what we do know is that today's move formed a or will form or should form a TD9 count top. The reason I say should form is price has to close above at day's end above 45.23.25. If it does that, you'll have a TD9 count top that's in place out there. That pattern will complete on Friday. Spot volatility is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's always a positive for the bulls. Now, the NQ also attempting to form a new profile. We're not going to spend much time on that, at least right now during this segment here. But today's spike above the recent highs will form bar number eight or should form bar number eight today. In order for that to take place, you need to see the NQ close above today. Closing price must be above 15,897.50. Now, if it does that, you still need Friday, uh, Friday's close to be above 16,086.50. If we get that, then you'll have the NQ that will have a completed TD nine count top as well. U.S. dollar index does have an A to B equals CD to the downside. Bullish reversal candle would confirm. It looks like a three river morning star to me out here. It would confirm a buy the D point pattern. It also has a new profile. It's bullish in structure. Price is above the center line. The center is at 103.89. U.S. dollar index should make its move to 104. 72. That should give gold and silver a few conniptions out there. They found resistance. Uh, gold found resistance at 2,920. That's a TD9 count top. Uh, silver found resistance at a TD9 count breakdown level, 2,392. Lightspeed crude, it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile. It still has an A to B equal CD to the downside pattern. It has never generated a bullish reversal candle to confirm that pattern out there. Price may be targeted low from the trading day of November 16th. That's out at 72.37. Natural gas Still in a steady decline to the downside, a bullish reversal candle would confirm a buy the D point pattern. And a 30 year treasury, it does have a confirmed A to B equals C to the upside. 120.63 is its price target. However, this new profile that is formed or is forming. So the first level price needs to clear is 116.16. Folks, have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next Monday, but stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show.